Welcome back to my YouTube channel where this winter I'm committing to doing much higher quality videos. I have dipped my tone to YouTube for the past year now and I think I've got it. I think I'm finally ready to really ramp up my YouTube channel. I tell you what, YouTube is like a whole other place to be. It's an amazing place to be. I can really, really get into um, the tutorials on here but it's a lot of work. So I've given myself a good year to practice and we're ready now. So today I planned out a whole tutorial for you on jumpers, sweaters, translation. I was gonna show you jumpers on a shelf and jumpers in your wardrobe and hanging hacks and etc. I started filming and I realized how long the video would be. So we're gonna make a kind of series and that will give me the time to be able to film it really, really well. So this morning I have filmed folding jumpers in a basket. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the storage that I'm using and how to fold your jumpers and how not to fold your jumpers. So hopefully this will give you a really good start to getting those jumpers out. Now it's getting a little bit colder. I mean, what happened to the weather here in the UK? It just snapped and it's now cold and we're all wearing coats and that's UK weather for you. I'm also gonna start with telling you about how I store my jumpers. I have recently just done a switch over for the seasons. So I don't have a lot of storage in my bedroom. I've got my wardrobes here. One side is mine, one side is Jacob's. And then we have some storage under our bed, which I kind of take over myself. There's a couple of drawers down there as well. So recently I took out all my summer clothes from the wardrobe. I've popped them under the bed and I've taken from under the bed, not coats just yet, because I don't think I'm quite there to take them all out but I did take out one coat and a couple of jackets and I've also taken out all my jumpers and I'm going to be putting some in my wardrobe that I'm gonna wear all the time and then the rest I'm gonna put in a drawer. I highly recommend putting the effort into switching out your seasonal clothes if you don't have a lot of space. It really, really lightens your load in your wardrobe because what we know is if you tightly pack your wardrobe too much, it will just put so much pressure on the fabrics. It will ruin some of your clothes. You won't wear everything at once you'll fall out of love with your wardrobe, which means you'll fall out of love with your clothes. And there's no after value in any of that. You want a really beautiful space to pick your clothes every day and make sure you're making some really good fashion choices. Really taking out what you're not wearing and putting it away until you're in the right season really helps you do that. And just frees your mind a little bit more because if your wardrobe feels lighter, then we're gonna feel lighter. Put the time in to switching out your seasonal items if, like me, you don't have a massive closet. In true YouTube style, let me say, let's get into it. So let's talk about baskets. These are the ones that I'm currently using in my house. They've got some really great features and benefits. First of all, they are collapsible. You know that is my favourite thing about storage because organisation in our homes is ever changing. So we need collapsible storage. So just in case we need to swap it out, we can store it away. And that means when things change again, we can bring them back out, just making them more sustainable. Another thing to think about is how deep the basket is. If they're large chunky knits, you'll want a nice deep basket because they'll really need the support of those deep sides. And the last thing is, is that these baskets are fabric and I would always choose fabric to store clothes over plastic. I've also bought these labels. I will link everything in the caption, but the reason I've bought labels is because these baskets aren't transparent. Therefore, if I want to store it higher up, then I know exactly what's in the basket. So let's get folding. To start with, I'll lay the jumper on its front. The reason I do this is because if you do have any artwork or logos, then when we finish the fold, you'll be able to see those. And that will help you when selecting your jumpers, especially if a lot of your jumpers, like me, are probably very similar. So let's start by folding in the sides. It's great if you can make everything just simply meet in the middle, maybe a slight overlap like I've done here. This will give the fold some structure. If you've got space in between each of the sides when you fold them in, that will make your fold sink in the middle. There'll be no structure to your fold and it will just get really, really messy.
So I just gave you some examples there of different types of jumpers using the same fold. So a hoodie, a cardigan, and a slightly chunkier knit. Now this one's slightly different here because it has an opening that has no buttons or zip. You need to take the time to make sure it's nice and flat, so work with your seams. And then we're gonna fold it starting on its back. And that way we're folding into the opening, we're gonna keep that closed, and the fold will keep, keep nice and structured and tidy for when you store it away. So time to store them away, I'm going to start with my larger knit just to see how much space I've got and this setup now will last me for the rest of winter while I have all my jumpers out. Now you can see that I have got quite a lot of space left, I could probably fit one more knit in there but I don't like to pack everything too tightly just because it puts pressure on the fabric and with some materials it will create those deeper creases. Light creases we're cool with because our body heat will get rid of those once we've put the items on but deep creases, we will have to get the iron out and we don't want to do that guys because we're not ironers here. So finally, I'm using my smaller basket for my non-knits. I would call these jersey jumpers and they fold down a lot smaller so I can use a much smaller basket for these. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comments what that one thing was that you learned and what you're gonna try. And I wanna say what you wanna see next, but I am gonna continue with sweaters, but if you do have any other requests, drop them down below because I need the ideas. Um, the last thing to say is don't forget my book is available in all good bookstores and on Amazon in the UK, the US and Canada. But if you are in any other country, you can still buy it on the bookdepository.com and they offer worldwide shipping for free. So it's totally still available. Anyway, for now, I will say goodbye and I will see you next week.